Hi, the Monavis Squad. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Omomi, aka Petit Diva, and this channel is all about hair care, skincare, and a little bit of randomness. Today, we are talking skincare, and from the title, you will see that this is going to be a controversial video for those in the skincare community, for those who try to take good care of their skin. I am not telling you to do what I did, but I'm just telling you I did it and um, I got some results. Or rather, I got the result I was hoping for. Or I got the skin that I was looking for. I got rid of the problem that was on my face. Whatever. Anyway, this video is all about the six skincare taboos or skincare don'ts or skincare mistake. No, I won't call it a mistake because some of the things I knew what I was doing when I was doing it. So it's more of a taboos or don't do's or don'ts. Yes, it's more of a skincare taboos or don'ts that I did and I was able to get rid of my acne in less than four months so if you want to see more about this skincare don'ts or taboos that I did <laughs> please keep on watching hold on if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this or videos on hair care and DIYs Please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you will be notified anytime I upload videos. Now let's get into this video. Okay, let me backtrack. So I have been having acne since I was probably 17 but when I was around 26 I was introduced into the um, um, process of cleansing, toning, exfoliating and moisturizing. I was already using a toner before then but I was not consistent. I use a toner today, now I use the toner tomorrow and be expecting magic. Um, so I was around that age that I started actually faithfully using that uh, those processes or those steps but but I think I was doing some things that were not supposed to be done but it worked for me so after um, from 2015 I no yeah from 2015 I started experiencing a different set of um, acne as and it was worse than I've ever in fact 2015 and 2016 was not as worse as 2017 and 2018 but at that time 2015 and 16 I think I was reacting to the pillowcase because it eventually cleared up but in 17 and 18 I don't know what was going on and around that time I stopped doing some of the processes that I'm going to talk about and then with the whole stress of my mother's illness, her death and everything, everything just came out. It was so terrible, everybody, even my mother was like, what is wrong with your face? My grandmother was, what is wrong with your face? Everybody was, what is wrong with your face? So I now decided to do the things I was doing when I was 26 and just be faithful, like do it daily and forget about it. I also incorporated Retin A, which is if you watch my skincare routine, you will see that I showed you guys I use Retin A in the night. So, what are the don'ts or the taboos that I've done or I did, and I'm still able to get rid of my acne? Number one, I use a physical exfoliant or a scrub. Yes, I use a scrub every don't come for me please don't come for me i know that especially with this old kylie jenner um, kylie skin and a walnut scrub and everything the bunker that is going on right now everybody's throwing shoes and 
saying do not use a physical exfoliant more than once a week or oh. well I use it every day but but that is a but I don't use just any um, scrub I've only stuck to two scrubs over years and that is the clean and clear blackhead clearing scrub the clean and clear blackhead clearing scrub is made with micro beads so um, it doesn't really give or rather it doesn't cause micro tears it doesn't cause any um, tears on my face at least that's what I felt because when I started using it regularly every day my skin started clearing up and then the second one that I use is by beauty formulas I either yes by beauty formulas I either use a tea tree on or the blackhead just the plain oil control or blackhead um, clearing scrub so those are it's just this one the other one those two brands the beauty formulas and uh, clean and clear I've tried the Neutrogena micro bead whatever but I didn't really like it so I tried it once over years not like now I didn't use it now I only use this and the clean and clear blackhead scrub uh, clean oh uh, clean and clear blackhead clearing special scrub that it has finished so this is the second one I'm using that I think I made a mistake once to get that scent hives whatever and it just made matters worse so I eventually tossed it away so I just I knew that I just had to stick to those two so if I don't find those two well actually but I was using that every day during the time that I was really active, active acne which is contradictory oh my god people are going to do with me but it worked for me so now that I don't really have acne I'm using it like three to four times a week I know people are still going to throw shoes at me but my face is used to that and I'm going to stick with that for now okay the second don't or taboo that I did is one that I know that even me I tell people not to do and I do and that is to touch my face or pick my pimples I know! yes I know you people are going to be like what but it's so hard especially when it's so is aching and you're trying to like try to um, relieve the pain or if you're just feeling your face and you have seen all kinds of bumps it is terrible i know i tried i have my i have problems with my hair and face because i'm always putting my hand in my hair if it's out and i'm always touching my face if i have acne and and i always touch my, i'll pick my pimple especially when i'm stressed up or i'm reading like it's terrible but now that my face is clear I really don't touch my face as much as when I had acne and it's just terrible I know but I did that thankfully what but the problem with picking your pimples or having your touching your face all the time is now I have a lot of PIH that is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation but I would say that my face is one that my skin itself is one that scares or scars easily is one that scars easily even if I don't pick it it will still leave a scar so the thing is just so annoying and like everything but I think I, I from what I read is that yes it might leave a scar but it will fade faster than if you pick it so maybe that's why I still have a lot of um, acne scars and acne dark spots on my face that's why i still have a lot of them if i'd not picked it maybe it would have faded by now so that's number two number three <laughs> i used to sleep with my makeup wait 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 
it's not like I was deliberately sleeping with my makeup on. Some days you're so tired and some days I completely forget and sleep off. Then I remember in the morning, oh you didn't clean up your makeup. Ow. So it's not like I did it all the time but some days some things happen that I forget. Is life. <laughs> So, number four, <laughs> this one is something else, I, oh, I did not used to wash my brushes or my powder puff every week or after maybe like two or three uses. But then again, I have to say something. I don't wear makeup all the time, so I felt. And then I'm just plain lazy. Thinking every time I cannot be remembering to wash my makeup brushes, especially the one I used to apply my foundation. I just like I'm so lazy sometimes, and it's just like. Even though I have more than one that I use, I don't know why I used to, uh, it's just, moving on, <laughs> I think we are number four, oh no, number five, okay, now the fifth, every time somebody has acne, you get, um, cut off sugary greens, cut off dairy, I didn't do both, my, major addiction in life is coca-cola or pepsi i take between 35 cl to 60 cl or 50 cl because sometimes i pour it away to 50 cl a day and i've been doing it for a long time i'm not going to say how many years and it's really i need to i know i know for my future health that i need to stop but it's hard but I'm going to stop before the end of this year by God's grace I am finally getting rid of that useless addiction and limiting it at least once a week but I used to take every day and I, I knew that I had to a lot of people say sugary drinks don't don't and I was like for my face I should stop I didn't stop as for the dairy, I don't usually take milk. That's the only form of dairy product that I take. I hate cheese, so I don't take cheese. I don't think margarine is a dairy product. Margarine, margarine is not a dairy product, so it's butter. I don't take butter. So it's just milk, and I don't take that every day. I probably take it maybe like twice in a week or something, and that's when I'm taking my milo so or you taking a or you eating a cereal which i don't do all the time so i didn't stop that but i know that that sugary drink bala i do not stop it i'm not saying that you should not stop it but i didn't stop it i've never stopped it <laughs> and so now number six and the last one um I did not use a moisturizer or a sunscreen. In my defense, I have a sunscreen. I have one. Yes, I have one. But I felt like this was even breaking me out. So I did not use it again. Moisturizer, I felt my serum which I'm using is very thick and moisturizing. It's not very light. So I felt that okay it works as a serum and moisturizer kind of thing but I'm trying to um, redeem that I'm trying to cancel that off my list because I'm about to make an order for two different types of moisturizer and two different types of sunscreen because I don't want to just get one and find that I'm reacting to it and not have a backup. So I'm hoping that at least one of each would suit my skin, would not cause me to break out again, and would also help to put the moisture and prevent my, my skin from 
the UV reason, whatever, just to prevent my skin from getting cancer. <laughs> so those are the six taboos that I did and I'm still doing. But it worked. Uh, I won't say it worked, but it didn't. It didn't prevent me from getting rid of my acne in less than four months because I really started doing my skincare routine like I showed you guys from I think January or early February. I that was when I was really really um, deliberate or intentional with my skincare routine. That's when I got my original oxytan that's when i also added retin e and i think around february was when i also included and then discovered cleansing oil and um, that has worked for me in my skincare routine i showed it i was using apple cider vinegar infused um, toner but before i started using that one i was using a salicylic acid based um, toner so with all that that I've done, that I've been able to control my acne because I know it's not gone. This face, to maybe when I'm over 50, I'll be rid of acne bulb. But now, all we have, or all I have is my PIH, and hopefully by the time I add, um, I want to add vitamin C serum or a vitamin C product. I also want to, like I said, I'm getting a moisturizer and sunscreen. Um, I would be doing regular masks at least I'll be doing it once a week I know it said in that video that I really apply a max on my face like every week but I'll try and start doing that once a week I know that the acne scars will fade over time but I'm trying to accelerate the fading process so hopefully with all that um, I would not break out and my acne scars will fade and I will have clear skin so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up please don't come for me and please don't say I did it so you will do it I said this is what I did and I've been doing like the physical exfoliant and um, using it daily I've been using it doing that for a long time and that was what worked then and that's what I did now and it worked so the whole process of what I do like and even if you watch my skincare routine you will see that I um, apply the scrub before cleansing and toning and the idea the, the I think the method is called CTAM is supposed to be cleanse tone exfoliate and moisturize me I just turn everything upside down so that's what works for me and that works for my shadow and that works for my daily life and that works for my face does not mean it will work for you just saying so you can try it but in case anything happen to your face please don't call me i'm not included i'm not in your matter if you also like this video and you're not yet subscribed please consider subscribing by clicking on that red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos with all the controversial things i just said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye